What's going on guys, King Trash here back in the video on the channel and today we had a lot of L's but we managed to put together a video. I originally, and I'm going to tell y'all this because I love y'all, intended to go to Jersey Mike's. By the time I got there, they were running out of all the things that I wanted and you said, no, I'll just come back another day. I didn't want my first time to be stuff that I wasn't really like looking forward to getting because I got there too late. You know, because of work, because of clothes. So I'm on my way back and I'm like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. And I realized that there's a subway on the way. And I haven't had subway in probably about five years. So we went to subway. We took a lot of L's on the way there and afterwards, which I'll get into when this video starts. But you know, I had to get these. This is very important. Celtics are on right now in the background. I don't care. Gotta have the Jason Tatums. It's very important. Um, right now, the game is tied. It is in the first quarter. I know people always got something to say. This is my backup bag, and I'll tell you why in a second. I'm not eating this one bit. It's very important that I have that bag. We got our Subway. We got all the cookies. Yes, all of them. He said, what kind of cookies you want? I said, give me them. That was my answer. Give me the cookies. We got three different sandwiches. We got a six-inch, just a little guy. That's what she said. We got two footlongs. Bow. And... Bow. So we got sandwiches galore, we got cookies galore, we got the Tatums on deck ready to go, and I am ready to go. Of course, I have to keep saying this because you guys have been so good with this recently. If you are digging the content, let me move this forward so I can get real intimate, which can stop. But if you are digging the content and you want to see more of this stuff and you just want to support the channel, it has been doing a big difference, so I appreciate it. Yes, I'm going to keep looking off for the Celtics game, so hit that thumbs up. Like, you know, all that good stuff. The comments, I love y'all comments. I try to read as many as I can. Hit the sub button. We have been moving, and I appreciate y'all so much. We're going to keep pushing the content because I love doing this, and I love y'all. That is enough of the love stuff. Let me get into these. Let's start with a sandwich. We got the sweet uh, steak, chicken steak. What the hell did I just even say? We just, we're down four, so I just got flustered. If, if you are new to the channel, I've been a Boston Celtics fan my whole life. They're in the playoffs. They're playing the Heat. And you know how playoff time can get? It can get stressful. So we got the steak teriyaki. I've only had the sweet onion uh, chicken teriyaki. So this is the first time trying steak. I wanted to try that. Let me make sure we get the tatums up in here. Then we got to get the tatums. We also... Damn. Trippy. Also wanted to try the Steph Curry. Steph Curry has a sub. Yeah, I know. I don't know. I saw it on the app and I was like, okay, say less. Is this the Steph? Yes, this is. It is called the, uh, the, the the Meatball Marksman. Sounds a little sus, but that's what it's called. Which is a foot long uh, meatball marinara sub with banana peppers and olives. Olives suck. I'm not getting them, so we ain't got no olives. But we do have everything else. But it's only $6.75 for some weird reason. Steph Curry has the cheapest sub on the market. And I know there's some Warriors fans watching, so I got your back. And last, I wanted to try the melts. They have Subway melts. You can order anything with melted cheese on it, which is kind of dope. So we got the Buffalo Chicken Melt. Um, I haven't had Subway in a very long time. They got a lot to live up to, in my opinion, now, because, bro... Firehouse subs was smacking. Y'all said Jersey Mike's was smacking. I had a couple of people. This was more on TikTok, though, which is, I found, I don't know, TikTok, I love TikTok. It's a good time, but people are weird on TikTok, bro. He's like, yo, crazy. So some of y'all prefer Subway to, to Firehouse subs. So you know what? This goes in, in the genre and the, I'm going to test this all out. Anyway, I want to start with the Chef Curry. Chef Curry, aka, oh, wait, I forgot my ice cream. Hold on, I swear. This is, like, this is important. Yo, dig this. I was in 7-Eleven. I had to go find these Jason Tatum chips, which is a admission but i saw this i was on my way out and I saw this in the frozen food section lemon meringue pie ice cream 7-eleven brand 7-eleven usually has w stuff so i wanted to try this it's got lemon meringue flavor ice cream lemon swirl and pie pieces i know it's gonna be that store-bought pie bullshit but i still gotta try it y'all know we do it for culture and let's do let's do the cookies up in here too lots of cookies look at these, look how many cookies here. i said give me all of these bro i need all these cookies so that's what we did we got cookies, we got ice cream, we got a W, we got the Chef Curry, like I said, the Meatball Marksman, there's a bunch of those. I think Simone Biles got one, Kayvon Thibodeau, which is the Giants' first round draft pick, got one. But the Chef Curry seemed the best for me, $6.75 for this. This is a weak-ass sandwich. I'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all. Subway don't eat fresh like they used to, but it's a meatball parm um, with uh, banana peppers and olives. I didn't get olives because olives aren't, that's stupid as hell, but I'm not trying to diss Steph Curry. Let's get into a meatball. I feel like meatball subs from Subway are like like the late night hookup sub. Like 
You don't really feel it, but you never go wrong with it. Like, it still does the job. Is that weird of me to say? Probably. But y'all know what I mean. Like, I'm never mad at a meatball sub from Subway. It's just like the ultimate. Like, mid-ass sub. You know you can do better. But it's not bad. You know what I mean? Now look at this meatball, bro. Y'all remember the other meatballs I had? Look at this. Look at this. 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 This is like, like you know that came from a can or, or like a like a package of some sort. No, it's okay. Ain't nothing special. You know what? Don't even sit here and y'all saw the the firehouse sub one. I ain't even close. Like not even kind of close. Not even like oh, but no. Whoever the hell said that, y'all told me I got the wrong order. Whatever, bro. Right. I gotta get into these. Celtics are now down three. Gotta get into my Jason Tatum. Gotta get them, get them every every game. I had them late again today. <sighs> it's okay. These are like the dopest chips anyway. Come on now. I bet she's scoring right now. They turned the ball over. They turned the ball over. The way the series has been going, we're either going to win by 20 or lose by 20. And in between. I got to watch the Black Air Force Energy named Jimmy Butler do all kinds of Black Force Ener uh, Black Air Force Energy type of stuff. It is what it is. Let's get into the sandwich, bro. I'm kind of... This is the melt. You can ask for any sub at Subway as a melt, which means that you can get it with like melted cheese on the top. But it is a buffalo chicken melt. I saw the buffalo chicken, it actually looked decent, as decent as Subway's gonna get, so I wanted to try this. With banana peppers, y'all see them on the top there. Looks okay. Bro. Subway subs are so mid. They are, I'm sorry. It's okay. But everything just tastes like, and I know a lot of this stuff does come from a package. As does firehouse subs. But you can get stuff that comes from a package that doesn't taste packaged. So somebody out there is going to be like, oh, well, do I work at fire? First of all, everybody worked at a damn sub shop that, 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 that watching this channel. Y'all all worked at these places. Congratulations. I'm, I'm glad that y'all are the, 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 the gatekeepers of, of sandwich shops. But that's okay. There's something about Subway subs and their deli meat. But when you get it, it legitimately tastes like it came from a pack. Like, you can taste it. It's just not... They don't hit. At all. So, it's okay. The buffalo chicken sauce kind of, like... I just feel like you... I could have literally went to, like... Anywhere. 7-Eleven would have stuff like this. No. It is what it is. Also, super mid. The chicken tastes, like... Like, like just mad pack, like, like canned chicken. You ever canned chicken? That's what that tastes like. You can just get the sodium and, and just, and I know they get it from that. And it shows. Boy, this is just not it today. Boy, Subway fell off. It looks like I'm on Haitian Tatum's. I for this shit, so I'm gonna eat it, but. Somebody out there said Firehouse Subs is too expensive, too. I would pay double whatever this costs. This tastes exactly like a $6.79 sub to me. You know I'm always going to keep it honest. I'm not looking for a Subway sponsor or any sponsor at that. Both of these are super mid. Like, not hitting at all. Even the bread sucks. Like, nah. Anyway, hold on. I don't like all these. These, these peppers and onions don't even look right. I'm going to take some of these out. I can just see them from the side of the damn bun. Got the sweet onion. Uh... Steak teriyaki. I've had the chicken teriyaki, which is one of my favorite subs from getting Subway from even way back when. So that is what we got. It's literally just their packaged ass steak. You can see it's, it's just not even hitting. Um, <laughs> I can't even hold back the disappointment. And the sweet onion sauce, melted cheese, peppers, onions. That is what's on here. You know what it is, bro? This is the best one of the crew. Of, the, of course, this is the shortest one. It's the best one. 
I know their steak is packaged, but it doesn't have like that over sodium taste. And the sweet onion sauce there is just, it just hits. It's the bread. You can't have a good sandwich without bread. And their bread sucks. It just sucks. It's like chewy. And it's always been that. For, well, recently. The last time I went to Subway, probably like three or months so like five years ago. And I remember distinctly being like, not happy with any, I, I tried all the breads. The, 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 the toasted, not toasted, the Italian, the wheat, the dip. I just don't hit. But, if I had to tell you to get a sandwich from Subway, it would be this or the sweet onion teriyaki. It was all I ever got, and now I remember why. Because this sweet onion sauce just covers up all the mid. All of it. And the steak is the least packaged tasting. That is it. That is all. I got a story to tell you why I eat some of this sandwich. Now move on to the cookies and the ice cream. Because if you don't think that I'm a psycho fan, let me tell you about what I did for you, Jason Tatum. And no one ain't nothing crazy like that. But I drove halfway over to North Jersey. Oh, we got the Midwich. I don't even like the banana pepper, bro. God, oh, that is fucking mid. Okay. Where I'm at in Subway, when I got out of there, they ain't had a Jason Tatum chips. I have to have Jason Tatum chips for the game. Okay? It's very important. Can we make that? No. I'm not throwing these chips out. Anyway, I stopped at a Walgreens because it's down the street. I figured it had Jason Tatum's. They didn't. I looked all over the store. I even asked the employee, I said, yeah, I got Jason Tatum? He said, what you mean? I said, I showed him a picture. I said, well, does it have this man? <laughs> on, the, on, the, on the bag. He said, no, nah, we haven't had this for a while, dude. I was like, all right, dude. That sucks. So I said, okay. Got to figure out where I'm going here. Like I said, let me go to the place I know has everything. Went to Wawa. Wawa is cleared. Mad traffic lights. I'm trying to watch the game on the phone. So I missed the tip off. I don't know. We're going to get blown out today anyway. Nah. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, they have home court advantage. It's not okay. Anyway, get the Wawa. I love thinking Wawa has so many chips. They had every chip ever invented. They had the Stranger Things chips. They had the not Stranger Things chips. They had they had any they had wood chips. And I'm not needing they swear to you they had wood chips in there. They didn't have these chips. I said, oh no. So I actually drove another four miles just to get to the one seven eleven that I knew had them because I got them last time from there. Just for some Jason Tatum, bro. Oh, that's a foul, bro. I'm sorry. Y'all know I'd be distracted with this. This is more like a watch along at this point. With a mid ass meatball. Isn't there banana pepper stuff today? I don't know. Wait. Not bringing in the points. But we're gonna eat them anyway. I think we're just gonna put the cookies, bro. Uh oh, no, we cut the one. Gotta keep eating. Nope. We're cut. We were down seven. Now it's one. Okay. What, what, what the hell is it? If y'all watching this series, are you a Heat fan? You understand the players? I'm gonna start. I'm, I'm getting annoyed. Again, I'm only talking from a fan standpoint. When I say these things, oh, Jason Tatum got a ball. Jason Tatum got a ball. Oh. Oh. He passed it. Why are you passing the ball? She got the chip cooking on. Bro. I don't dislike anybody personally. And I'm only saying this from a fan standpoint. Again, you a Miami Heat fan, how can y'all root for PJ Tucker, bro? And just like that, we're down six. How can I root for somebody out there in a t-shirt? My man got a t-shirt on. 
and like some knee pads. He looked like my dad, bro, out there. That's crazy. And they always leaving this man open. He be hitting them little funny jump shots. Can we get a dunk? Oh, nah. Nope, that's a foul. Give me the ball. My man got a t-shirt on, bro. That's like, if, I'm gonna put it this way. If you play in a pickup game, this is a true story for people out there who play basketball. Even if you're in a pickup game, like you're in the park playing ball. If there is somebody out there who is wearing a jersey, like a jersey, a basketball jersey, so he got LeBron jersey on, he out there playing, understand that this man is really good. He's about to, the passion he's about to play with, like, we're going to play like it's the NBA Finals. Because if you actively said, I'm going to play basketball, you put on a jersey, you think you're LeBron. You think you're in the game. You really think you are part of something special. Tell me I'm lying. So that's strike one. Okay. Now here's the strike that you know something real like. The dedication that you were about to see. If somebody is in the park... Or in an organized basketball game. Okay? And they pull out a jersey with a yeah, he missed it. Okay, let's go. With a t-shirt underneath. I don't care what size the t-shirt is. It could be anything from an extra small and tight to the 3X baggy. Don't guard that man. I'm gonna tell you right now, he gonna foul you, they gonna hack, he gonna play with the amount of old man tricks, okay? The amount of, 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 of passion and dedication that this person about to play with, they're going to be asking for everything as a foul, but when they hit you, they're going to clear, rake you across the forehead, they ain't going to call no fouls. This man is literally going to take water breaks. They're going like, I'm, it's going to be serious. He's going to act like he's the captain. He'll be calling out plays. Ain't nobody on the team know the plays but him. And then he's going to get mad at people for not setting screens hard enough. Like, they are the player coach of the decade. And you have to watch out for these people. TJ Tucker out there doing on the NBA. He out there playing in a damn t-shirt, bro. Nope. You ever watch him play? You ever watch the passion, the dedication, the fouls? Like taking taking tactical fouls and you know. He the one, for real. He's the one that if you got the ball, they will foul the shit out of you. Like literally just smack you right in the forehead. Bow. And then raise their hand. Like, acknowledge they didn't? Yes, you did, bro. I'm not trying to fight your ass in the middle of the court. Get your black Air Force ass out of here. Okay? I want you to think back any amount of time, any era, any any level of basketball about any person who has ever played in a t-shirt and tell me I'm wrong. And I guarantee there's somebody watching this video who played in a t-shirt. Guess what? You're that person. Don't be looking around. Tell me I don't know nobody like that. It's you. Right? Not you. You did that. What the hell kind of onion is that? See? Oh, Subway sucks, bro. Don't go to Subway. I'm never going back. I'm saying I'm done. Nope. Not when, not, not when, not when Firehouse Subs is in the immediate area. Ain't no way, boy. Nope. But you're that person. You be fouling. Stop hacking. It's not that deep, bro. At least PJ Tucker gets paid for it. He got his profession. Okay? Bragging to your girlfriend that you had 13 points and 10 rebounds in the park is not a flex. It is weird. Okay? I'm going to tell you this right now. Your girl that you bragging to, she don't give a shit. Mm -mm. No. Nope. I'm going to tell you that. Understand this. Unless your girl is a baller, like she hoop herself, and even then, she's probably better than you. But they don't care. Fellas, understand this. Stop flexing the women about shit they don't care about. Okay? They don't give a shit. Okay? Okay? Right? If you play video games and, and you won your, your Fortnite uh, Battle Royale, well, I don't play Fortnite. Jump on someone. She don't give a shit. No. You're not going to get an extra kiss or more than that. Nothing. She doesn't care. You can brag to her. She's going to nod her head. Okay? And acknowledge that you did it. That's good, baby. Because she a real one. But she don't care. <laughs> it's like she, listen, don't take offense to that. Ladies, understand this too. These banana peppers got to go, bro. And I put banana peppers on everything I ordered. They call this a buffalo chicken melt. Ain't no melt. They just call that shit buffalo chicken lukewarm. Buffalo chicken slight melt. I shit needed another two minutes in the oven. 
I understand this stuff. Get this shit out of here. I'm done. I'm going to the cookies, bro. Nope, this is the same sandwich too, right? Oh, no. Nah. Nope. Uh, my verdict on Subway, I'm going to get these cookies. I know they're going to be fire. On well, everything. My verdict on Subway is it was, it was good like 10 to 15 years ago. It is a bag of butt cheeks now, bro. They ruined it. Y'all ruined the whole... I feel like Soldier Boy, bro. They copied my whole fucking flow, word for word, bar for bar. Subway at one point was one of the better, if not the best. $5 foot long era was goaded. Goaded. Elite $5 foot long era was, was, was elite. It was a time like no other. You could walk in there, get you a sweet onion chicken teriyaki foot long, double meat, double protein. They load it up. It cost $5. It was elite. Subway, ever since Jared did the little funny, I don't want to go into it, but y'all know what I'm talking about. It has devolved into an era of chaos. It is ass cheeks. I can't even finish. Y'all know, if, if my food still exists and I'm not trying to pick at it and be like, oh, it's still there, it's still there, it's still there. Nah, I put Subway, where I put it in the seats here? I, did I put it in the seats here? Hell nah, bro. Subway is legitimately in the D tier. It's getting carried by those cookies. Carried, I mean, baby, carried. Like, like, nah, like James Harden's old celebration. Bro, Jimmy Butler, bro. Okay, anyway, like, carry, bro. That's, this is unacceptably, like, it's not even worth $6, bro. The chicken tastes like it come from a can, not even a package. That's worse than a pack. And and, 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 just nothing. There's nothing good, the, the nothing good about the sandwiches anymore. Sweet onion chicken teriyaki is, is at least passable, but not for me, dog. Like, was that the dude from American Idol back in the days? A no for me. I'm trying, bro. You see, look. Even the buffalo sauce sucks, bro. Call Frank's and get their sauce, because what the fuck is that? Bro, I hate Jimmy Butler, bro. I do. He, he's so fucking scrappy, bro. <laughs> he's so good. I hate him, bro. I got respect for Jimmy Butler, bro. I'll get into a second, but honestly... I would pick any sub. I would pick Wawa over Subway at this point. Subway is trash, and y'all put all these celebrities. Right, you got Steph Curry, Thibodeau, Simone Biles, some of the greatest athletes. He, you put Jimmy Garoppolo on there. I don't know what you would. Do. I don't know. Maybe because he's like cute or some kind of susness. I know people like whatever. Um, he gets, I don't know. And Derek Jeter got a sub. Stop paying these fucking celebrities, okay? Y'all paying these celebrities to fucking do your mid-ass subs because they're taking the money, okay? If you paid me, I'd tell people it was good. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. This shit is trash. Stop paying these damn celebrities and put it into making, like, decent subs because Firehouse shits all over these. Like, wipes to duty and, 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 and all this, just diapers, bro. Just terrible. And I'm not having had Jersey Mike's yet. But I know it's gonna be better. And I, Quiznos don't even exist anymore. And I know it's still better. Somewhere out there, they got like three of them. I would go to Wawa over this. I would get a 7-Eleven Taquito over this. Um, Walmart Deli. Um, um, I would come to your house and eat a sandwich, whoever's watching this. I, I <laughs> shit. Nah, man, y'all fell off like, damn, it is what it is. Anyway, I'm gonna try these cookies. Subway cookies, we got every flavor. So we have white macadamia nut. We have, uh, what is that? Raspberry cheesecake? Oh. Oatmeal raisin, which is my favorite because I'm old as fuck. And we have the chocolate chip. Let's start with the chocolate chip because it's the OG. Subway cookies, bang. I know people out there, y'all act like y'all the Subway enforcer. And you're going to tell me, actually, they come from a package. I truly, I mean this sincerely, don't give two shits if they do. A good cookie is a good cookie. Chips Ahoy come from a package. They're mint. This is not a Chips Ahoy. That is a Subway. It is one of the most elite sandwiches, uh, shop cookies that you can find. Let's do this. Hell yeah! So far, fucking G! Get this shit the fuck, fuck out of here, G! That's a terrible ass thing. If I go to Subway just for these, bro, I swear to you. Y'all can say what you want to. I know there's gonna be three employees in a month in my comments talking about I worked at Subway, these are frozen. I don't care. I don't. I don't care if you brought them from home. I don't care where they came from. These are delicious, okay? I've eaten $30 cookies. I'll pick this 75 cent cookie over a lot of cookies. Do you see the chocolate ratio? In this cookie, there is chocolate in every bite. Look at the back. Look at the booty of this cookie. What you gonna tell me, bro? I would go to OnlyFans just to get a cookie with this booty. Y'all too. I really just said that. I'll be making this shit up on the fly. Elite. I don't care. Frozen, not frozen, lukewarm. Y'all gonna give me the frozen version. I'll still eat it. Delicious. Say something else. 
Mm. Once you get over the age of like 27, you will like oatmeal raisin cookies. It just doesn't matter, okay? Understand that. As a kid, oatmeal raisin cookies are okay. You're not gonna prefer them. You don't even want the raisins. Once you get to a certain age, you start liking old people shit. I think it's like 27. There it is. Oatmeal raisin cookie from Subway. Never had it. My hair gonna turn gray by the end of this shit. I don't care what anybody say, bro. Oatmeal raisin cookie smack. It's so good, bro. It got like a, I don't know, like an old people taste. There's just something about this shit. I don't know why I like them. I hated oatmeal raisin. If you brought me oatmeal raisin to cook, I thought you were making a joke because I'm going to throw it at you like a ninja star. But now, this shit right here. Mm. Y'all have oatmeal raisin. Y'all know what it tastes like. Subway puts some sort of paraphernalia psychedelic drug do something in there we all know it's in there and it's delicious mm-hmm damn that's good wi cookie i don't even gotta waste my time on that one i want to try these though cookie number three now i'm also in the old people category i think you got to be over the age of 27 as well to really get down with like nuts in your cookie or anything like that before that you don't want it when you get older there's something about it maybe because dentures are on the way or, or whatever but we got the white chip that's what I, I actually looked it up it's not white chocolate even though it is white chocolate white chip macadamia nut uh old people taste buds most of y'all gonna be like these are trash this one don't really you know what i'm gonna like this because i'm i'm old as hell let's do it i could have done without the nuts i guess i'm not that old yet the cookie's still a w macadamia nuts are just like it's like, okay, pause. It's too much nut. Like, the nut to cookie ratio, like, it's, it's bubbling through my damn cup. I need slivers or something like that. You know, I feel like I'm old, but maybe I'm not that old yet. I'm, like, in the gap year or, or something like that. But that's just too much nut. But I still eat it because these cookies, I don't look. I don't care to come from a package. They're delicious. But of the cookies I've had so far, this is the one that I wouldn't get again. The smaller nuts next time. Stop, bro. Y'all are so nasty. I know. I've been knowing what y'all gonna say before I even say it. Stop. Somebody out there snickering like a two year old right now. I would be too, but I'm talking. So she's still a dub. But mm. and last, the most intriguing one that I've seen so far: raspberry cheesecake. That just sounds like a W. Even though raspberry is probably the shittiest berry that you can get, unless you're counting like boysenberries or lingonberries. I'm talking about like stock flavored berries. Like blueberries are better. Strawberries are better. You know. Even with jelly. Like, you don't want raspberry jelly. It just don't work. When I, mean, I put raspberry stuff, I get upset. I would have liked a blueberry cheesecake or a strawberry cheesecake. But they went with raspberry because they were trying to be fucking edgy at, at, at Subway. Because they'd be trying to do stuff, but, you know, eat fresh. Eat fresh what? Stop lying. Raspberry cheesecake. It looks pretty decent. Uh, there are a grand total of four and a half raspberries uh, in here. So that seems like a W of, of some sort. And I don't know what the fuck. Is this supposed to be like a cheesecake uh, piece? But doesn't matter. Um, you think it's gonna be good? That's very good. But raspberry sucks, bro. <laughs> like, this is the weirdest like I've ever had for a cookie. This cookie is delicious, I swear. But I can't help but think how much better it would be if you didn't choose the worst fucking berry in a cake, bro. Like, like why would you pick a ra like? I know there's going to be some out there defending because there's always a defender of things. And I feel that because I defend things. But I'm not defending this. Who would choose raspberry anything if strawberries and blueberries were, were there present? Who? I'm not. I just feel like if this was a strawberry cheesecake, bro, I would have been like, ah, I was screaming. You know, I be getting all animated and shit when I like stuff. But right now, I'm just like, ah, because it's good. Like the cheesecake pieces? W. The tartness from the raspberry, it works. But you know what would work better? A tartness from a blueberry. Tartness from a strawberry would have worked even better. So with that being said, I, I'm going to stick to my guns. This is probably one of the better raspberry items I've ever had. But I can't rate anything with a raspberry over like a 7. So you're literally going to get a 7. I want to give it like a 7.4. But I don't like when people try to be edgy on purpose. And that's what I feel like this is. Like, stop picking. Like, pick a fucking blueberry. But like, stop. Anyway. Still the dub. It's half time, so I figure I can get through this. Um, get that sandwich out of here. I can't eat that. I can get through this, and then we can still watch the second half of the game 
on the couch with a bag of Jason Tatum, like we always get down. But I said I sold these at 7-Eleven. Move it to the side. Look, I clean my table. Move out to the side. So it's a 7-Eleven. I had to get it. I'm on my way out. Lemon meringue. It's got pie pieces in it. So it's got a freaking lemon meringue flavored ice cream with a lemon swirl. That's too much lemon. I like lemon. And, and, and actual pie crust. I mean, I can understand why they did it, though, because lemon meringue. I would have liked maybe like a whipped cream because meringue's supposed to have like the cream on there. But I haven't opened it yet, so I don't know why I'm bitching. But lemon meringue is obviously very lemony. If you don't like lemon meringue, you won't like this ice cream. So it's always trash. Y'all, I, I, I know it. That's very lemony. Not really much going on as far as a swirl goes. It says swirl on here. Lemon swirl. Where? Fucking miss something? Like, yeah, I'm cursing. I'm sorry, mom. When I get mad, I get cursed. It's got like a... No. This shit gonna be trash. Hold on. No. Hold on. I'm out there. Y'all know what I'm going to say. Alright, let's break it down with reasoning. Because I like to give reasons. Not that it's a trash ice cream. It's not. It's not very lemony. If I've eaten a lemon meringue pie, there's a distinct tartness with lemon meringue pie that is not fucking present at all. Sorry for cursing again. Uh, the pie pieces that are allegedly in here, which I've gotten a few... Add no flavor. If the pie crust, if this was pie crust, you would chuck the pie across the room. Um, I don't know what they're talking about with a lemon swirl. The lemon meringue flavored ice cream kind of just gives off a lemony cream. This just tastes like lemony creamy, but like not just like strong enough to be a lemon meringue pie. Anybody who's had a lemon meringue pie, you know, when you bite into it, it's very like, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This ain't got that. It almost just tastes like regular ass ice cream with a hint of lemon. Like, look, there's just a smudge. There's not enough lemon in here. I need like a strong lemon. And I'm going to show you this pie crust piece. What are we doing here? Like, is this what you want your legacy to be? It doesn't even taste like anything either. This is not it. I'm very, very, very disappointed in that. 7-Eleven usually comes up with some pretty dope ice creams. This, this just, it, this not, it's not it. I'm eating the crumb. Man, don't get this shit. You ever want any of the s'mores? And the 7-Eleven brand is a W. But, see how this looks on the top? What do you think? It don't even look like nothing, bro. That's an L. Wow, we took a lot of L's today. If the Celtics lose, I'm not coming back tomorrow. I'm gonna still be back. Tomorrow, actually, I'm going to see Top Gun. Um, it comes out tomorrow, actually. And, you know, uh, Top Gun was one of those movies that, like, I watched a lot of 80s movies as a kid because my parents were, like, teenagers, and as weird as it sounds, um, in the 80s. And my sister was also born in the 80s. So I'm like, like, I don't remember, but they, I, my, my 80s, like, ball knowledge is, is actually pretty up there. Um, but, yeah, uh, tomorrow I'm going to watch Top Gun because I liked the movie as a kid. Um, so there'll be, like, a, a little mini review, spoiler free. Uh, i got to use my movie pass, and, and we'll figure out what we're going to eat tomorrow. It won't be anything crazy just because I, I'm more, like, for the movie. It'll be, like, something I just pick up. It could be, like, you know, some fast food or, like, a little sandwich spot. It sure as fuck won't be Subway. I'll tell you that much. I would love to be anything Jersey Mike's, but the movie is because it comes out on Thursday night. Um, 
the movie starts at like 8 o'clock. By the time I get out of there, it's going to be like 11. So I'm assuming something I'm going to pick up real quick. But I'll give you what I think about it if you care. If not, you know I'll still be here to chop it up. Thank you guys again for the support. Even if you watch this absolute L of a video. <laughs> Such an L. Um, your support means the world to me. You guys have been so, so, so good with it. But we will be back. I hope the Celtics are going to win. If not, I know you're going to be there to give me shit in the comments tomorrow. But I still love y'all anyway. We'll be back. The hand signs. They made it to YouTube.